Hey everybody, this is Zach Cassell sharing some words of wisdom with you from the Business Library of West Talk Commercial Real Estate. Today, I'll be sharing an excerpt from The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. Great book. In chapter two, entitled Begin with the End in Mind, Stephen talks about the importance of anchoring deep within us um, a vision or a goal of where, what we're trying to achieve, what we're trying to get to. Uh, and it's important to do this before we set a goal or we start out on a task. Of course, if we don't know where we're going, we're never going to make it. But if we do, if we can follow that beacon of light, ultimately we will get there. And by having that waypoint, it'll just save us so much time and energy. One of the best ways he says for us to accomplish this is through a personal mission statement. This is what he has to say. The Constitution has endured and serves its vital function today because it is based on correct principles, on the self-evident truths contained in the Declaration of Independence. These principles empower the Constitution with a timeless strength, even in the midst of social ambiguity and change. A personal mission statement based on correct principles becomes the same kind of standard for an individual. It becomes a personal constitution, the basis for making major life-directing decisions, the basis for making daily decisions in the midst of circumstances and emotions that affect our lives. It empowers individuals with the same timeless strength in the midst of change. With a mission statement, we can flow with changes. There you have it. If we anchor ourselves in truth with exactly what we're trying to do and where we're trying to go, the world all around us can change all at once, but we're going to be centered and we're going to be able to get to um, our goals much quicker and much more efficiently. And with that, now that we're all just a little bit smarter, remember, be awesome, work hard, grow daily, share, and enjoy the ride.